Welcome to Elevated Sports. I'm Kyle Johnson. I'm Billy Mock. What you got there? My Bucks hoodie. That's disgusting. Um, but Bucks have had a good offseason so far. They have, and I, I, I'm forced to support them. Um, You're not forced. I, well, I kind of am. I kind of am forced to. But we're going to get into that. First, so there's no whiteboard behind us. Um, our, our set... Well, Rip to the whiteboard. It, yeah, it's, it's we're under heavy renovations, and we will likely be on the move in the coming weeks. If I mean, if we're even allowed to at that point. Yeah, the fate of the whiteboards is up in up in the air, and the fate of us is up in the air right now. I mean, mm -hmm. we're breaking the law right now. We were we are within six feet of each other. Oh yeah, we are. This is way too close to each other. But um, we're bringing something to you that no other sports channel can say to bring. That is closeness. Closeness and quality content from the fans or for the fans by the fans. Yeah. There's nothing there's no one that else that could say that. No. Uh, like we said last week, uh elevated sports just won't be stopped by a virus. Won't, won't be. be stopped. So luckily, with there no being being no sports. No uh, there is one sport that has survived. They're not actually playing right now. But the there NFL. is there's actually action. The NFL. The NFL. Yeah, and I'm grateful that right now it is like the heat of the NFL free agency because it's actually something we have to actually pay attention to. Right. Uh, it's been fun the last couple of days. It has been. And it like literally as soon as it hit, like it, I mean, it was like rapid fire. I, I mean, I wasn't even ready for it to start. I was just ready. like, boom, there yeah. you go. I'm like, whoa. It was like one go. day we had so many signings. Right into the deep end. Um, but the biggest signing. Yeah. It's what we're talking about right now. This video. We we're having an exclusive video just for this signing. Uh, and that's Tom Brady. It is. Yeah. Basically, I feel like since we started the channel, this channel has just been leading up to this moment. It has been. Because we've talked so much about the Bucks, We've talked about the Patriots. We've talked about the quarterback situation for the Bucks plenty of times. And we've talked about Tom Brady. We have. And now so, we're here. So the very first like player video we did, the future of Tom Brady. Yeah, that's true. Um, and in that video, I said that if not the Patriots, my preferred landing spot for Tom Brady was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, what, what, what do you think he's going to do? What's your prediction <coughs> on Tom Brady? I, honestly, I don't know. I, I'm kind of torn. I, I hope he goes back to New England. Because I want to see him be a Patriot his entire career, retire a Patriot. But if he doesn't, my hopes and my dreams are that he joins the Bucks. <laughs> no joke. This isn't a joke. And, as of yesterday... It was, it was officially, officially official. official. He announced on Instagram that he has signed a two-year deal with the Bucks for $50 million. $50, $50 million. Dollars. So let, let, let's get into <laughs> it. What are the implications behind this? Well, first of all, um, so I saw this point made up. That was actually a very good point. Once once it was kind of, you know, got out there that the Bucks were his likely landing spot, there was still a lot of, you know, back and forth over do the, should the Bucks go back for James Winston Obviously, we knew that the Bucks were going hard after Brady, um, and then we signed for two years, fifty million a year, which is twenty five a year. When if we had even just franchise tag Winston, that'd have been what twenty seven, I think. Well, I think we got a deal out of getting Brady for fifty mil or fifty mil for two years. Um, so that's good. Right. Here's the thing: I was, I was, I did not want the Bucks to go for Brady. Obviously, there is the concerns. Okay, and we're gonna get into that, but. Um, for Bucks fans, if you are on the side of we shouldn't have signed Brady, I actually did some debunking to that uh, theory, okay? Uh, I think we should be happy we have Brady, okay? Because here's the thing. Brady comes from a winning culture. May have cheated a little bit, but a winning culture. He knows how to win. What more do the Bucks need than a winning culture, right? Yeah, exactly we, right? We have the pieces. You know, we have the offense. We have a rising defense. We need a winning culture, right? And, and I think Brady brings that. So there's three concerns that for, for most people when it comes to Brady and the books. And the first thing is the age, right? Yeah. How old is he right at 42 He's right 42. now? 42. Turn, but, turn but that's exactly that's exactly why it's a two-year deal. It, it's, not, exactly. it's not a long-term. This isn't a long-term solution. This is a two-year rental. The Bucks are pushing really hard to make the playoffs, make the Super Bowl, and win the Super Bowl right now. Exactly, that, that is their goal. Arians, I don't, I don't see Arians coaching for more than two years yeah. at most. I mean, he he is getting up there in age. He's had previous health problems. He wants to win now. I personally think that there's a one-year window for the Bucks. I think after this season, I just 
at the age because you're talking about does Brady turn 43 this season? Yes. I don't care who he has. I don't see a 44 year old quarterback winning a Super Bowl, which would be his second year of his contract. Well, you don't see it, but I don't see. You, I just you don't can't see, in see the it future. Happen. You can't I just, see the future. I can't. But I just if I was to look in the future, if I had some ability to look in the future, I feel like I would not be seeing that in the future. I just can't wrap my mind around a 44 year old quarterback leading a team to a Super Bowl and winning it. So that's why I say I think I think they have a one year window right now. Right. Obviously the following season it could be you know, it'd be fun. Brady's last season, that'd be fun. Um but if we're talking about elite football, elite quarterback, because obviously Brady still had somewhat of a drop off last year. This year I think I, I think it's this year or bust. So the age is a concern. I think the Bucks can build it the right way around Brady, where the age isn't such a factor, right? And that brings to the next two concerns. The first is the offensive line, right? Offensive line, right? I pulled up just one stat for this. And I, I didn't go. I didn't get any big into metrics or anything with any of this. Uh, last year, to p- comparing Winston and Brady, obviously you can't look at offensive line stats very well, but you can look at sacks and stuff like that. Winston was sacked. Uh, total 47 times the whole season, which ranked fifth in the league, while Tom Brady was fifth sacked 27 times, which was 23rd in the league. So obviously there, and we know Winston, the more athletic quarterback. Winston's not like you know just crazy athletic Lamar Jackson, you know, but he can run around a little bit. He obviously has the strength to take some hits. Still went down 47 times, right? And when a quarterback gets hit that much, you look to what the offensive line, right? Obviously, Brady was not sacked as much. So then you're putting Brady into uh, an offense that had a quarterback that can move around a little bit, get sacked fifth most in the league. Well, what did they do there? They did sign uh, an offensive Justin tackle. Hogue? Something like that. I couldn't remember his name either. Yeah. Um, and I think one underrated signing they had was um, Anthony Auclair. Auclair? Auclair? Sorry, Mr. Bucks Nation, if I mispronounce yeah. that. Um, uh, backup tight end, right? But the thing about him was that he was he was kind of praised as like a very good blocking tight end, right? And then obviously there is the rumors of Cameron Bray or O.J. Howard getting traded. Uh, Claire can be used as a right. blocking tight end, right. and then maybe they can use Howard or Bray to get some more strength from the offensive line, right? And I do think also... Uh, that the Bucks will draft offensive line in the draft. Oh, I, for sure. I would think so. I, I I could see them taking one in the first round. Uh, I'm not even. I'm not yeah. sure if they would, but I could I, see. I've consulted with Mr. Bucks Nation. He agrees. I think that the Bucks are already in the direction of strengthening the offensive line for Tom Brady. Right. The last one is the run game. Okay. Now here's where I think the debunking comes in. Right. Because for all of this offseason, most of what I've heard from Bucks fans is we don't have a run game. Tom Brady always has. But I compared last season, just last season, because the, the because of the age factor, right? Right. Last season's gonna be very similar to this season because of his age, right? The Patriots, Sonny Michelle, right? Ran the ball for nine hundred twelve yards, seventeenth no. in the league. Not stellar. Not stellar. Three point seven yards per carry. Ronald Jones, the Bucks court or running back. Uh, 724 yards, 27th in the league, right? Um, 4.2 yards per carry. So pretty similar in stats, Michelle and uh, Ronald Jones, right? Then you look at how many times Winston threw the ball, how many times Brady threw the ball. Winston threw it 626 times, tied for first in the league with Jared Goff. Tom Brady, 613 times, tied for fourth in the league. Very similar, right? Jameis, 8.2 yards per attempt. Tom Brady, 6.6 yards per attempt. Winston, fifth in the league. Tom Brady, 27th in the league. So about a two-yard difference there. Or one and a half, right? Then you look at running backs that caught passes. Mm, yeah. James White James was White. your team's leader in running backs catching the ball 72 times, uh, which ranked sixth in the league. For the Bucks is um, Ogumbawale, right. which he caught it 35 times, which was 30th in the league, Right. So there's really the only difference in the run game. I think they have very similar, uh, when it comes to skill in the backfield, Right. I think they're about level all across the board. The question is, is are, can the, I I, I don't doubt that the talent is there for the Bucks, but do they use it the right way, right? Do they start 
throwing the ball to the running backs right. more, right? And that's that's something I I believe they'll change in their offensive game plan. Or if Peyton Barber goes bye bye, I could see them signing a running back like Deion Lewis. Yeah, familiar with Brady. Brady's familiar with him. He can receive out of the backfield. He can run the ball. Exactly, because I mean, for the past couple of years, that seems to have been kind of the Patriots' offense. Is you know a lot of short passes, crossing routes, stuff like that. Um, obviously, you saw Brady not as much yards per attempt as Winston because it wasn't he wasn't throwing the ball down the field as much right. as Winston was. And here's the thing: you may say, "Well, Bruce Arians isn't going to change his offense. He's going to make Brady throw down the ball down the field every play." It's not going to work because I, I don't see that happening. I don't see it either because there's the age factor. Can he keep up with that? Uh, and then secondly, I don't. If I was to put myself in Tom Brady's shoes, I wouldn't even thought about going to the Bucks if I expected that to be the offense, right? Right. I be, I believe the Bucks and you know Arians and the offensive staff. I believe they have the ability to adjust to what Tom Brady wants to do, right? So I don't think the Bucks. I don't think we should be you know overly concerned about you know about Tom Brady, right? The right. age is a concern. But the Bucks, you know, they're working towards, you know, getting their offensive line where it needs to be. I just don't think we should doubt the run game. It obviously wasn't used a lot last year because Winston, you know, he's a sling shooter. Arians loves to throw the ball. But I think Ronald Jones for sure gets underrated a lot because right. he just didn't get a lot of opportunity last year. Right. I think this year we could see him run the ball a lot more. Uh, and I think we could really see the offense open up. That's why, you know, the last couple of days I've kind of been really looking into this. Tom Brady going to the Bucks, I think it's a win. Oh, it's a it's, it's a, a win. win. I wanted Winston. The day is, the day has come where we have to move on. Yeah. I love you, Jameis, but the day has come where we have to move on. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts about Tom Brady to the Bucks? Because I, I have a couple questions to ask. I, you. I do have some thoughts. Okay. Um, first of all, the AGS he is getting up there. Um, as for his like ability to throw down the field, he was still slinging it down the field last season. His receivers weren't catching it. That's the thing. But he he was still had yeah. the arm strength to make it downfield. He was making some decent throws downfield. Um, so I'm not worried about him being able to get the ball down to Mike Evans. Yeah. He can get it down there to Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, whoever's that receiver. He can get it down there. But I think that the Bucks will change their offense play style a little bit, maybe more short throws, because Brady yeah. Brady's really good at getting the ball off quick. And that's why he has such a low yards per attempt. Yeah. Because he can get it off quick. Mm -hmm. And you know, you only need if you get four yards per play, you're gonna you can win the game. Yeah. Because <laughs> within three plays, you already have a first mm -hmm. down. So I I would not be worried too much about the Bucks. Biggest worry is A, the line. Mm -hmm. Um start drafting players. I was talking to Mr. Bucks Nation, I'm like, dude, if they dress if they draft Tristan Wirfs. If they can get him in the first round, I think they'll be in great shape. Oh yeah, for sure. They'll be in great shape. Um, and maybe adding another, maybe adding a receiver running back to that roster. Um, you have Dare. I have, I didn't watch him too much last season, so I can't I can't speak for him, um, speak about him too well. They bring in a veteran running back like Deion Lewis, who Brady's played with here. Yeah. He has that connection. Deion Lewis didn't really do much last year. I can see them getting him for you know cheap. Yeah. Um, another big thing with this Brady signing. Is players are like, players want to go to the Bucks now. There yeah, are, there are players yeah. who legit. They're like, all right, I want to go to the yeah. Bucks. <laughs> so it not only was it good for the Bucks because now they have a um a quarterback who knows what he's doing and he can make intelligent plays, but he's also he's a magnet. Yeah, he's bringing yeah. more talent with him. So I I think that I overall I think this is a win for the Bucks. I I think it's a win as well. Um, I have a few questions for you, sure, Mr. Johnson. First question: Who has more to prove this year, Brady or Belichick? I think I think Brady has more to prove this year. I agree. Because um, right right now the Patriots don't have a quarterback. Um, I mean they do. They have Jared Stidham. Yeah. And he's played like five snaps of actually like playing football. So you know I don't think too much is expected of the Patriots this year. Yeah. Um, but Brady, there's a lot on his shoulders this year. He's being thrown into a very talented offense. He's got weapons. He's got a growing defense who has started to prove themselves at the end of the last season. He's got the pieces around him to go win a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Now he has to go do it. So I think he has more on his plate. Next question. And I guess that kind of leads into this question. And we're going to talk about this a little more in the video. Right. But your Patriots have three options right now. 
Roll with Stidham. Draft a new quarterback and start fresh with a new quarterback. Um, or sign or trade for a quarterback. Which of those three would you want the Patriots to do? What I want them to do? Um, I w see, here's the thing. I don't think it's the best option, but I like Cam Newton. Uh, <laughs> I think it would be fun to see Cam Newton on the Patriots offense. Do I think it's the best option? No. Um, Jared Stidham, there's a lot of people who still believe in Jared Stidham. I'm a little skeptical about it, but I'm willing to give him a shot. Yeah. You know, see how it goes. But I think the most likely option is they draft the quarterback this year. I can see that too. I do think too, this season that Tom Brady was out for four games for the suspension and they had Garoppolo and Garoppolo went down with an injury, didn't he? Garoppolo, went, yeah, Garoppolo went about one and a half games and then um, Brissett went two and a half games. Yeah. So, I mean, I think Belichick kind of proved that, you know, he could, he can really run a team with any quarterback. He's given. Right. He can. Yeah. Uh, my final question. Sure. Tom Brady. Is he the greatest athlete ever to put on a Tampa Bay sports uniform? The greatest athlete? No. Well, great, greatest. He's the greatest quarterback to ever put on a Tampa Bay. Greatest, greatest sports player to ever put on a uh, Tampa Bay uniform. And uh, across any sport, Tampa Bay was. Like, do you think this is the greatest athlete we will ever see in Tampa? In Tampa. Probably. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you've been following this channel, um, you know I've talked very negatively about Tom Brady in the past. But here's the thing. He's my quarterback now. He is your quarterback. I literally still can't wrap my mind around the fact that Tom Brady is my quarterback. Like, never in a million years would, you, would, you, would I think that would happen. Tom Brady is actually my quarterback. And the more I say it, the more crazy it feels. Thanks. Tom Brady's my quarterback. <laughs> He's your quarterback. I got to go to a Bucks game this year. Let us know what you think about Tom Brady going to the Bucks. Do you think it was the right move for Brady? What are your expectations for the Bucks this season? Uh, like the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, check out the description for our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we'll see you next time.